Thanks for checking out the AGV product guides. We'll run you through the features and specifications of the AGV T2. The T2 is the second helmet in the race category from AGV, and it's the sister helmet to the GP Tech. T2 utilizes the same full Kevlar and carbon fiber shell as the top of the range GP Tech. It also features the integrated ventilation system from AGV. This is where you have channels molded in to the inner and outer shell to allow maximum airflow and ventilation through the helmet whilst minimizing aerodynamic drag. You have two large intakes on the front of the helmet and two extractors on the rear. You also have an integrated vent on the chin which is operated by a button inside the chin bar which helps reduce noise in the frontal area. The T2 utilizes the HV Race X racing visor system. The visor comes no fog treated, so you've got an anti-fog coating on the visor and it's ready to take tear-offs. So you'll see the visor comes standard with tear-off posts and the helmet comes in the box with a pack of tear-offs. So for track days or for racing, the helmet's ready to go straight out of the box. The Racex visor can also be fitted as a racing kit system. It's a standard visor with the channel cut out. The visor comes with a pair of screws, fixes the visor to the helmet. So in the event of an accident into the gravel track, the visor can't come off. But you still have the normal operation of the visor. That's the racing kit visor system on the Racex visor. On the inside, the T2 has a fully removable, washable Drylex lining. That includes a removable and washable neck roll. You have a double D-ring retention system and a multiple density EPS inner shell for maximum safety. T2 is very, very simple to take the linings out. First of all, you have the chin spoiler, which just comes out on three clips. Then the neck roll, the same, three friction clips, one on each side and one on the back. The neck roll comes out. Cheek pads, very simply, three pop studs. And the headlining, again, very, very simple. You've got two pop studs on the back and two pop studs on the front. And that's the headlining removed. Very, very simple. Let's put the linings back in. You basically work in reverse. So you start with the headlining. Just pop those two pop studs back in at the rear. Then the two at the front. Then the cheek pads. Just thread the left cheek pad on the left side and the right on the right. And you have the three pop studs. You'll feel those pop studs snap into place when you get the cheek pad lined up. Then the neck roll, just line up your hole with the red clip and then get the rest of the neck roll seated, then into the back, round to the other side, make sure it's all pressed home and secure. And finally, the chin spoiler, just line that up at the front and that just pops and pushes back into place. And that's the T2 put back together, taken apart, very, very simple. All the linings can be washed as well. So that's the T2 removable and replaceable lining. Inside the front of the helmet, you have two extractor vents. So when you're riding in uh, wintry conditions, this helps pull the air from the chin vent at the front and creates a curtain of air which goes up inside the visor which aids demisting. So you've got those two extra extractor vents which are unique on the T2. So all in all, the T2 is a very, very safe helmet, achieves sharp rating of five stars, with the full carbon Kevlar shells, very light, very well balanced. For the full specification and all the features on the T2, please check out the full guide on www.agv-moto.com.